Hi, today I'm reviewing the sixth book in the um, Cassandra Palmer series or the Cassie Palmer series by Karen Chance. And it's called Tenth of Stars. Now I know this book was out a while ago, I'm just getting around to it reviewing it now. Um, and I read it a while ago. So um the sixth book was um was good, it was exciting, the characters are good, but ultimately I was disappointed and I think I enjoyed this book the least out of the whole series. Maybe except book one, I'm not sure. Um, oh, I'm just getting so frustrated with Karen Chance now. I mean, can relationships move forward at all? It's just ridiculous, especially when you have to wait over two years between each book. Like, basically, there was no progression in the relationships and the plot of the next book is just the exact copy of the plot of this book. They have to say Pritkin. Then, because of my frustration with the book, I noticed the negatives a lot more. Like, before, my love of the characters and the relationships and everything helped me kind of overlook the negatives. Um, but now, I'm noticing them more. Like, for example, I see that there are no transitions between the scenes. And it's like having five books in one. Because all the subplots, they don't meld, they don't gel together, they just... Like Cassie just hops from one crazy situation to the next and there's no connection between them. It's just... And when she's in the middle of one situation she kind of forgets about all the other ones. It's just quite strange. And then because of this and the writing, the action scenes are very chaotic. Like I always found this, but because of my love for the books I didn't really care. But now I'm just finding them, the action scenes quite difficult to follow because they're so chaotic. Um, but, you know, despite this, it was an enjoyable book, as I said, and um, if you weren't as invested in these six books as I probably was, um, you might love the book no matter what. But I'm just getting a bit sick of it now, because, come on, like, get Cassie Pricking together already. There was a little bit of, like, closeness in there, but nothing really happened. And, um... It's just kind of the same thing over and over and I just want book seven to be amazing. I've been saying this for like the last three books, like will I want the next book all the things I want to happen happen in it. Probably won't be able to like something crazy of 2018, but um we'll see anyway. Um does everyone else feel the same as me? Like Yeah, it's just getting <laughs> I'm just getting impatient now because I've been reading this series for years and years and years and relationships move at like a glacial pace. But that's my review on Tempest of Stars. Now I'm going to do a quick spoiler review. So if you haven't read this book, I suggest you switch off now. Okay, so Cricket and Cassie, their relationship never moves forward. Like, I've been wanting them to get together since like the second or third book. And like, they're one of my favourite couples. I, I don't know what it is about them. Like, the author just wrote them in a way. I think anyone who reads the book and who likes Cricket is just like, like doesn't just want them to get together like any other book it's like crazily like fanatically wanting them to get together and it would be like the best thing in the world like when I was reading the books before like you know, around the fourth, third, fourth, fifth I think people were just so eagerly wanting them to get together and it's weird that they're like people's favourite couple when they're not even really a couple um so I was like that they're the reason as well it was one of my favourite series because it just had a couple I could really get invested in and love and then I loved Cassie as well just as the protagonist I thought she was so funny and kind of clever and um, likeable and um, and Prickin as well he was a great character so it wasn't just the romance it was the characters as well and the story was exciting but now I'm just getting a bit frustrated because like did I even hug in this book I don't know um, it's been a while since I read it but basically, like I think Prickin was really close to telling her how he felt and he wanted her to tell him how she felt and she just kept going on about how she needs him because he's her friend and I'm like, come on, just move it a bit more, Karen Jans. And then like she managed to save Prickin in this book, she went to tell, she got him out and now something happened again where she used to save him in the next book. So I was like, I'm not just a copy of this book. Um, and then all the subplots, they just didn't gel very well. Marco has been turning out to be a, a great surprise, but he's a great character as well. But, like, there's a lot to these books, not only in the actual action scenes, 
but in the background and mythology and everything so it can, can get a little overwhelming so we need some some breaks and it's just bang 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 a little bit but um yeah I don't really have much spoilers actually to discuss um because I read it so long ago I can't remember specific things but um yeah basically that's my review on Tenth of Stars it turned out as a negative review I think like but it is an enjoyable book it's just that aspect that first written kind of overshadowed all that um but yeah i'd love to know what you thought about tempest stars and um, that's my reviews thank you very much for watching